Hi, I'm at Human here in Chelsea with Dr. E and we're discussing the benefits of NAD. I mean, I love the benefits because it clears my head, it makes me think better, more positive. But also, there is another benefit I didn't know about and that is muscle repair. We all know as we age, our skin gets saggy or our muscles don't build as well. So can NAD help us with this muscle building and muscle repair and how does it work? Remember, we're constantly growing and self-repairing. So from that perspective, it helps muscle turnover, muscle cells, repair so it prevents injury number one and it also helps regenerate and build muscle mass um, it's also fascinating it helps reduce fat stores around the liver as well as we were talking about earlier the metabolism effect has is so widespread so I mean that's really interesting because so many people have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease yeah. this is brought on by high carbohydrates lots of sugars so this can actually help what's already gone wrong right. by our 80s, 90s diet. Right, and, and also by the thing we talked about earlier, metabolic flexibility, right? Right, okay. And as we become older, we know we become less metabolic flexible. We don't take the energy out of our food as efficiently and use it as energy. And so, if we're doing that more efficiently as we get older, it has all of these widespread effects and NAD has a really important role in, in the energy production. So forgive me for jumping the gun here, but would I be right in thinking that I could have um, a pizza and some NAD and I'd start metabolizing it like I would have done when I was 16? I love the way you interpret biohacking. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, what will, can I get away with? Yeah, exactly. It will, I mean, it can definitely help, right? It will help. Um, there are other things that you could be doing to enhance the metab metabolic flexibility as well from a nutrient perspective but also from a therapy perspective. We love cryotherapy, we do it a lot here. Cryotherapy, cold plunging, gets your body in the habit of creating more energy more quickly. Why? Because your body's extremely cold, it needs to create heat, right? So it stays in that state. If you do it regularly in that state, okay, I need to be able to create energy as I need it. It creates brown adipose tissue which is rich in mitochondria. I mitochondria, your engine of each cell to produce energy. Brown adipose tissue is found a lot in Eskimos, interestingly, because they're in cold environments and it sits, it's very protective of your spinal cord and your nervous system and it sits around around your spinal cord and your scapula. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, so it's, it doesn't make you fat around the neck, but it's very, imagine it's more densely concentrated fat so it's not as voluminous and it's very rich in mitochondria so that's why it's brown sorry I went so if i have nad and cold therapy i can have my pizza that's all i want to know yes yeah, what do you want to know you heard it here first <laughs>